Oh, I hate fighting amateurs. Hey guys, as we start off this game, we have to deal with the screw bomber right here. Three quick shots. We don't want it to get any shots off. It's a lot easier if it doesn't get any shots off. Anyways, this is a special request video, actually part of a series of videos. A friend of mine has tasked me with the request of doing Street Fighter Cross Mega Man. No damage, no miss. Not just the first eight bosses either. Oh man, this is going to be interesting. So, we have these Laser Joes, they each take six shots, and you obviously can't shoot their shield. And then you have to wait till they shoot off their laser to get your shots in. It's a bit of a patience game with these guys. I only deal with the one direct in the way, and then I can kind of weave through these ones right here. Like this. Major trouble with the stage. That screw bomber at the beginning, and this laser room that we're now in. This is fast paced and requires precise shots. It's frantic. It's very, very frantic. So, yeah. Okay, and we're out. There's only one more major obstacle in the stage before the boss. Uh, that was almost it, but that wasn't. Um, the last hurdle was a laser Joe guarded by a super screw bomber. Let's see if I can give this guy one pass. Nope. Just one more shot, I think. Yep. So this room right up here. Super Screw Bomber protecting a uh, Laser Joe. If you do it right, you can get up to this weight here and then jump up and get three quick shots. Now we wait for the perfect opening here. Right after this thing shoots, go up and three shots and rush for the gate. Yeah, very touch and go that. Alright, and here we are. Crimson Viper time. Let's see what she does. Thunder Knuckle. Thunder Knuckle. Thunder Knuckle. Full Revenge Bar. Ultra. Jump. Alright. So, the trick with her is... Optic Laser. Thing is, she can't walk into you, so if you stand next to her, she'll always jump over you. You just want to kind of watch what she does on the ground and react accordingly. Come on, optic laser, optic laser. Come on, and we're done. Oh god, that was rough. Not a good way to start this game. Had to do it eventually though, right? So it's good to get it out of the way. So this game has some bugs, such as this one. Death, climbing a ladder. Obviously I got hit by the laser there, but that's not the weirdest one. This one is pretty weird. Are you aware that elevators are evil? They can squish you. One pass, six shots. Alright, so Crimson Viper, I thought it was onto something here with this corner strat. See, I can actually do a shot back and forth on her. But here's the deal with the corner strat. While you are safe from her blazing kick in the corner, for the most part, uh, you are not safe from her thunder knuckle. Her thunder knuckle can actually reach you in the corner. You can't jump it, you can't dodge it, nothing. You have to jump over her to avoid the thunder knuckle. But that's not where the real problem lies. See, Thunder Knuckle, it hits you, you can't dodge it, and you can't jump it. The problem is her Ultra will actually inch her closer into the corner, meaning that then she can hit you every time she jumps. The other big problem with her Ultra is it's really fast, it's impossible to react to. So while this looks goofy, and looks like a viable strat, it unfortunately does not work. I've decided to break these stage scores into two separate scores and then a total score at the end. Starting with the stage, we have the screw bomber at the very beginning. Then you have the laser room, 
with the precise shots that you need to make against the barriers. Not to mention it's really rushing you for time. And then you got the laser drill at the very end right near the boss gate. Overall score for the stage is going to be an 8 out of 10. Then you have Crimson Viper herself. Fast, frantic, hard to read, very reactionary boss fight. She's going to get a 7 out of 10. The total score is going to take the highest score of the two. However, in the case that both the stage and the boss, and both those scores are 7 or greater, I'm going to add an extra point. In this case, the final score for the stage is a 9 out of 10. We may have a foothold in Street Fighter Cross Mega Man, but it wasn't an easy foothold. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Until the next video goes up, take care.